the media plays a role in stereotyping people. Obviously, media influence can be explicit, but sometimes it influences stereotypes in subtle ways too. The explicit ways media can influence stereotypes is how they choose to frame ambiguous behaviour. This is Britney Spears. She's an American singer, dancer and actress. The caption says, Troubled star goes wild outside the home of her estranged husband. The image appears to show a shaved head Britney attacking a car with an umbrella. Look at how this behaviour is framed. This could be the kind of fight that anybody has, but it's been chosen to be framed in line with a particular stereotype of women losing it emotionally, implying that they've become like children throwing tantrums. This is an example of media framing behaviour that reinforces certain stereotypes. The media love stereotypes because they're familiar and easily identifiable. Plus, people kind of like them and find them funny. Sometimes the media portrays stereotyping in really subtle ways. This is called facism. Facism refers to the difference in the way that men and women are portrayed in photographs. In the media, photographs of women tend to focus on their body, whereas photographs of men tend to focus on their face. Photographs of men tend to be closely cropped to the head and shoulder, signalling ambition, intelligence and social prominence. Showing more of a woman's body subtly indicates they're valued more for the way they look than for their intelligence. Conrath and colleagues in 2012 gathered together over 6,500 official headshot photographs of all major political representatives across 25 cultures and six continents between 2004 and 2010 and analysed the way these politicians were photographed. They used the chin to the top of the head ratio to determine whether photographs of male politicians showed more of this ratio compared to those of female politicians. Conrath and colleagues found that cultures that were normally seen as gender equal, for example, North America and Europe, showed more evidence of facism bias in the way their politicians were photographed compared to cultures that were normally seen as having less institutional gender equality, for example, Asia and Africa. Conrath and colleagues speculated that this difference could have been due to a post-feminist backlash that sometimes occurs in cultures that are high in gender equality. It could also have been due to the different ways that people from different cultures compare their male and female politicians. However, it's unclear as to why we see this difference.